So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here, and this is another mechanical slash backroads Arizona video. The reason it's a mechanical video is because I'm going to be showing you how to repair threads for a bolt that have either got messed up by cross threading them or they just got stripped out over time. And the reason I've got it listed under backroads Arizona is because it happened on my little coyote sand car. The actual bracket that holds my flag out at the dunes got stripped out and would no longer hold the flag. So let's get to it. I decided to remove the flag bracket from my little sand car to make it easier to work on. I'm going to be using a half by 13 helicoil kit in order to repair the threads in this bracket. I've used a helicoil many times in the past in the career I'm in and they do work in aluminum really well. They also will work in steel and for the most part if you do it correctly they are a pretty good fix. To give you an example of this they also make a very similar kit that you can re-thread the spark plug holes in aluminum cylinder heads. So that shows you their durability. Another thing you can do in a similar application to this is just drill it out and tap it to the next size bigger bolt. I couldn't do it for this application because the flag pole bracket that screws into that is half by 13. So I did have to stay with that thread size, but that's another option if you have that ability. So I was able to use the helicoil that we actually had at my work in order to do this repair, but I did find them on Amazon. Now keep in mind, this is a big helicoil, a half by 13 is a decent sized bolt. So this kit was a little expensive on Amazon. However, if you're doing a smaller bolt, like a quarter by 20 or an eight millimeter by 1.25, the kits aren't badly priced at all. And then once you buy the kit, if you do run out of the inserts, you can just buy the inserts to save a little bit of money. Now, when you buy these kits, you need to verify what size drill bit you will need. Some kits come with the drill bit and some do not. So keep that in mind. You might want to get the kit that comes with the drill bit if you don't have that size. If you use a drill bit that's too small, you could possibly bind up the tap and possibly break it and then you're in a world of hurt. If you go too big, then that insert is not going to hold tight and could possibly loosen up and walk out over time. Now, as I said before, we're repairing the female threads of a half by 13 bolt. And here is the helicoil that I borrowed from my work. You'll notice that the tap does say helicoil half by 13. On the tap, it will also tell you what size drill bit you need to use in order to use this tap. So right here, you can see that it tells me to use a 17 30 seconds drill bit. So all you have to do is grab that size drill bit that they're telling you to use and go ahead and drill out the hole that you are going to be re-threading. A common mistake that is made is people don't drill the hole deep enough for the helicoil. They think if they drill it the same depth as the insert, then they're good to go. The problem with that is, is the tap has a taper to it. And if you only go the depth of the insert, the insert will start binding up as it goes into the hole. The other possibility you might end up with is you just can't drill the hole that deep for whatever reason, which is what happened to me on this bracket. I went all the way down until I hit solid aluminum and I didn't go any further because I didn't want to weaken the strength of this bracket. Once you've drilled the existing hole out to the specified drill bit size, then you will be taking the helicoil tap and cutting the new threads for the insert. Now I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 in there to help that tap cut those threads. You might want to even use a grease or a cutting oil. That all depends on how hard the material is that you're tapping. What you don't want to have happen is break that tap off in that hole because taps are made of a very hard material and they will not drill out. So if you break that tap in there, there is ways to remove a tap, but it is not going to be a fun process. Now, a lot of people say to go a full turn in, half turn back, then go another full turn. If my tap is cutting nicely, I will just do a continuous turn on that tap forward. Once again, it all depends on the material that you're cutting into and how easily it's going. If it does start binding up, then yes, you want to back it off a little bit, put some more oil or grease on it, then start going again. I've even removed my tap completely, cleaned out the material inside the hole, and then started again. So if this is just a one-time thing, repairing some threads, then you can use a crescent wrench or a regular wrench to use on that tap. If you're going to be doing multiple holes or you think you'll be doing more in the future, I highly recommend getting a tap socket set. These things are amazing. Sometimes you can also use an eight point socket if you have those. And on the rare occasion, you could get a 12 point socket possibly to fit on those taps, but not very likely. Also, if you have a tap and die set, the tooling in there will work for those helicoils the same as they do for the taps. 
Make sure you clean out all the debris out of the hole before trying to put the new insert in. There is a tool that will come in the helicoil kit that you thread the insert on to that tool and then you will thread that insert into the hole just like you would a bolt. When buying a helicoil kit, try and make sure that the installation tool is made of metal and not plastic like the one I'm using because the plastic ones, especially with the bigger sizes, do have a tendency to break as you're installing them. Now because I wasn't able to drill it as deep as I would have liked, it did get tough at the end and I did have to use a pair of pliers to help turn that insert into the bracket. You'll also notice as I remove the tool that there is a little bit of the thread sticking out above the bracket because of that same reason. So what I ended up doing is just taking a grinder and cutting off those threads that were above flush with the top of the bracket. If you don't have a grinder, you can also use a pair of dikes to help cut off any threads that are sticking up above whatever bracket or whatever you're trying to fix. Now there is a little tab at the bottom of these inserts and that is what the tooling grabs on to help thread them into the hole. If your bolt is gonna go through those threads, then you will need to snap that little part of that insert off. Now the helicoil inserts will already come with a little notch out for this reason and you need to break this off going up and down, not side to side. On the bigger sizes, you can grab a pair of needle nose and leverage it up and down in order to break it off. A lot of the kits these days will come with a tab remover tool as well. Basically just smack it with a hammer to break it off. If the kit you got didn't come with one of those removal tools, then you can take a screwdriver and smack it down with that and then get a 90 degree pick and lift up underneath it and just do that back and forth until it comes out. So I didn't have to worry about breaking that tab off in my situation because that tab was right at the bottom of the hole anyway, so it didn't really matter. So you'll notice when I'm threading in the flag holder that it started getting too tight to turn by hand. Once again, that's because it got tight because I couldn't drill the hole deep enough. So that insert started squeezing itself down when it got to the end. But being as though I wasn't gonna be taking this on and off, I just had to get it tight and it was staying there. I just used a pair of pliers and called it good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good information. If so, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. The whole concept of my channel is to give you guys the most information in the least amount of time as possible so I don't waste your time. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.